Hey guys, this is Dipu. Welcome to another episode of Tech Lab in short. Today, I'm going to talk about GPU. The graphics processing unit or GPU has become one of the most important types of computing technology, both for personal and business computing. Designed for parallel processing, the GPU is used in a wide range of applications, including graphics and video rendering, although they are best known for their capabilities in gaming. GPUs are becoming more popular for use in creative production and artificial intelligence, which is also called AI. GPUs were originally designed to accelerate the rendering of 3D graphics. Over time, they became more flexible and programmable, enhancing their capabilities. This allowed graphics programmer to create more interesting visual effects and realistic scenes with advanced lighting and shadowing techniques. Other developers also began to tap the power of GPUs to dramatically accelerate additional workloads in high performance computing or HPC, deep learning and much more. The GPU evolved as a complement to its close cousin, the CPU, which is also known as Central Processing Unit. While CPU have continued to deliver performance increase through architectural improvements, faster clock speeds, and the addition of cores, GPUs are specifically designed to accelerate computer graphics workloads. When shopping for a system, it can be helpful to know the role of CPU versus GPU so you can make most of both. Now let's talk about integrated graphics processing unit. The majority of GPUs on the market are actually integrated graphics. So what are integrated graphics and how does it work on your computer? A graphics that comes with a fully integrated GPU on its motherboard allows for thinner and lighter systems, reduce power consumption and lower system cost. For example, Intel has Intel HD, Intel USD and most recent Intel Iris Plus integrated graphics. On the other hand, AMD introduces APUs with integrated graphics known as Vega, which is more powerful than older integrated Radeon HD graphics. Now let's talk about discrete graphics processing unit. Many computing applications can run well with integrated graphics. However, more resource intensive application with extensive performance demand, a discrete GPU sometimes called a dedicated graphics card, is better suited to the job. These GPUs add processing power at the cost of additional energy consumption. Discrete GPUs generally requires dedicated cooling for maximum performance. So guys, that is all for today. Don't forget to like if you like this video and consider subscribing and ring the bell icon. See you guys in the next one.